coming out today, and thanks to all the organizers. And I'm just really happy to be here to talk about two things I really love, gardening and bees. So I see a few beekeepers that I know in the audience, but actually I include you all as beekeepers, because through the choices that we make, we all determine the fate of bees in our community. So the choices that you make are going to be maybe different after this talk today. Hopefully I'm going to give you some ideas for how to plant differently, how to do different gardening practices that will promote bees. And most of these native bees that we have are very docile. They're not aggressive. Some of them live in a solitary fashion. Honey bees are the most social living in a hive. Honey bees, in fact, aren't native to our area. They're naturalized. They're European in, in origin. So there are plenty of them around. They're very good pollinators. And they're um, pesticides are particularly bad. The question is, what type of pesticides are particularly bad for bees? Well, the big villain, of course, are the neonicotinoid uh, chemicals. And that, those were the ones that were involved in the bee kill of the There are, you know, I remember when that happened, I looked on it right away and I said, what chemicals have, you know, what has that in that? Um, and neonicotinoids, you know, there are products on the shelf that you can buy. There's brand names, you can look it up. Um, those are particularly dramatic because it's like a drop dead. They could be sprayed on a flower that the bee is foraging on. They were like dropping dead below the trees.